When you come to Tokyo, you ought to check out one of the major fish markets. There's a total of three of them, and we're here in the largest one in the city. What do people do here? Well, if you come at 5 a.m., you'll see how tuna is sold. It's different than the rest of the fish because it's actually sold by auction. One of the things, if you are a sushi eater, anywhere you go in the world, there's a good chance that the sushi you're eating came from this actual market. Fish markets like this one aren't just where sushi comes from. Tokyo's three fish markets are actually very popular tourist attractions. Hundreds of thousands of tons of seafood, including fish, higher-end goods like caviar, and basics like seaweed are handled every year at these three markets. Visitors can peruse the selections at any of them and even peek in on one of the 5 a.m. tuna auctions I mentioned before. Fish markets are not Tokyo's best smelling attractions, but they do provide a peek into the enormous Japanese fishing industry, and they will probably be unlike anything you've ever seen before. In case you don't know much about it, the blowfish is one of Japan's most talked about fish. If prepared incorrectly, it will kill you. Well, I'd heard about the blowfish before, and after visiting the fish market, I had my heart set on a culinary experience with an element of danger. I found myself here at a little restaurant that served up the fish with the big and infamous reputation. They serve it as sashimi, they serve it in stews, and they serve it vinegar. But the real skill, I found out, is not in finishing the product, but in the initial preparation. This is what the fish actually looks like before it hits your plate. The blowfish is an ugly fish that requires a complete dissection. It's not a pretty thing to watch, but it is fascinating from a technical procedure that, when done this professionally, is quite impressive. So the chef has separated the pieces you don't want to eat from the pieces you do. In particular, you want to stay away from the liver and all these other areas, mostly organs, because that's what will actually kill you if you eat blowfish, and that's why you need a license for this. Up here is the stuff you basically want to eat, the main body of the fish, the underside of the jaw of the fish. This, because it's a boy fish, is the sperm. They say that's one of the delicacies of blowfish. And this is the head of the fish split in half, and you can tell because you see the eyeballs, and that's the rest of the head. The skin, they actually take and boil it, so you eat it after it's boiled. And then, you might not realize this, you don't eat the actual fin, they take the fin and they grill the fin up and they use it to make sake. So now you've seen how the chef actually cuts up the fish, you've seen how it's prepared, and now you're gonna see how some of it's actually eaten. And that little piece I just picked up is some radish with a little bit of Japanese spice. I'm grabbing some scallions here, mixing that in. And then I've got three different things I can try. I've got the skin, I've got the layer beneath the skin, and I also have the actual meat of the body of the fish. And that's what I'm going to try for the first time here in Tokyo, blowfish. See what it tastes like. Very mild, surprisingly mild. In fact, a very different contrast from the look of the fish itself. And you know what they say, that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger.